everyone. Welcome back to Living 808 and Hawaii's Kitchen. We're here at the Serve Co Appliance Showroom in the Thermidor Kitchen, and I am so excited today, you guys. We have an amazing guest. It's Hawaii's own Annie Pottinger. Good morning. Hi, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Okay, and we're so glad to have you because if you guys don't know, Food Network has one of their biggest shows, Food Network Star, and Honolulu's own Amy is currently competing on it. That is correct. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know what the show is, tell us all about it. Tell us about your experience, right. which is amazing. Absolutely, thank you. So it's a 12-week competition series in which Bobby Flay and Giada De Laurentiis, they basically mentor us so that we have the skills to have our own show on the Food Network. And at the end of the day, that's the prize. Like, that's, that's what we're all fighting for. That's mm -hmm. what we're competing for. So they basically put us through, like, this gauntlet-style challenge where we have to cook, talk, demo dishes, and do what they do. And for a lot of us, it's new. I had never done anything like that before. So mm -hmm. it was a challenge. Okay, and you were saying, although you were inexperienced, mm -hmm. A lot of people, well, inexperienced. You're still an amazing cook. Thank you. But uh, there's a lot of really accomplished people there as well. There are, yes. So was that intimidating? It was absolutely intimidating. None of us had any idea who the other person was going into the show, who anybody else was. So we all met each other at the same time at the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. We walked through this door. There's Bobby and Giada. And... <laughs> For the first time ever, we're hearing about what everybody else has done. And there were a few people like me who hadn't done a lot, but we have people who have won, like, Food & Wine's Best Chef of the Year, who have restaurants that are ranked throughout the country, were tained in hand with Martha Stewart. So, wow. yeah. And you were blessed to be able to compete against them. And, okay, we can't say anything about the right. show or results, but we are, you just aired the first episode on the Food Network. You're still on it, so yes. you're going to continue on. So yes. make sure you catch her on the show. But that is so cool. I mean, Thank you. has it? Did you? Do you think you grew from the experience? Absolutely. I mean, everything that happened there was something new to me. So there's no way to not grow in that experience. Right. So that's okay. great. And so talk about your past experience, though. Right. Even though you weren't a professional, no. You're kind of a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Um, I kind of grew up in restaurants, although typically in the front of the house, not in the back of the house. And that's where my love for food evolved. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have two kids under the age mm -hmm. of five. So I started a food blog because we move a lot, and I love food, and it's something I could do from the comfort of my own home and cook for my family, entertain friends, and still share my love of food with the world. Right. So my food blog is Caviar and Crayons. Um, it's kind of a play on, like, you know, sophisticated and everyday, feeding my husband sophisticated meals and my kids and their crayons. So... It's just, you know, it's a little bit of me on a plate. I love simple. that. That is so cute. <laughs> and so you. what can you expect then? I guess a, a pretty var a big variety of dishes, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I cook what I want to eat. I, I, I love all kinds of food. If I had to pick, I would probably say Vietnamese food, but mm. I like to take influences from everywhere we've lived, the people I've met, the food that I crave, and basically cook all of it. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Okay, and speaking of cooking, we're yes. going to be making a dish today as we well. We are, Can that is correct. Tell us a little bit about that and the ingredients. Of course. So what we're going to be doing today is rum-soaked grilled pineapple, oh, and yum. I've made a pineapple pound cake, and instead of just serving it like that, we're going to sear it off to give it a great texture mm -hmm. on the outside, and then make a rum butter sauce. Okay, wonderful. Well, that's going to be coming up next. I'm Perfect. so excited. Again, you guys, Food Network star Amy, so happy to have you, you, and we're going to see her back at work and actually I guess kind of see what it's right? like to be on the show. We're going to put the pressure on you. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's coming up in just a bit. You're not going to want to miss this. There's so much talent in Hawaii. It's nice to see them, you know, on a national yeah, stage. Yeah, we were seeing, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of them over the time. Of course, Sheldon Simeon from Top Chef yes. multiple times. So great to see the local chefs doing well on the national level. Absolutely.